Suppose you are given a three-dimensional force F in vector form like this Fx i hat plus Fy j hat plus Fz k hat and you are interested in finding out the angles it makes with the coordinate axis x, y, z. So, what you can do is you can write f x equal to f the magnitude of the force times cosine of theta x and f y equal to f cosine of theta y and f z equal to f cosine of theta z. These are the components which are projections of the force vector onto the x, y and z axis and the magnitude f is given by square root of fx square plus fy square plus fz square. So, when we know the component fx and we know the magnitude of the force, then we can find out the directional cosine of the line of action of the force f and the directional cosines are cos theta x, cos theta y and cos theta z and from those directional cosines we can find out theta x, theta y and theta z. Note that these angles theta x, theta y and theta z are in different planes. The angle theta x is in a plane formed by the line OP and X axis and likewise theta y is the angle formed by the line OP and the Y axis and the angle theta z is in a plane formed by the line OP and the Z axis. Since the magnitude f is equal to square root of the square of the three components. We can also write f square equal to fx square plus fy square plus fz square. Substitute f cos theta x in place of fx and what we shall get is f square cos theta x square plus cos theta y square plus cos theta z square and f square and f square will cancel out on both the sides so we get a equation cos square theta x plus cos square theta y plus cos square theta z equal to 1. So, this is an important relationship between the cosine of the three angles and you can notice that they are not independent. So, only two angles need be specified. The third angle gets determined by this equation. This equation is useful in many situations. If there is a force F and it makes equal angles with the axis, then what is that angle? What is theta x, theta y and theta z? Since theta x is equal to theta y is equal to theta z, this is given. So, 3 times cos square theta will be equal to 1 and this is equal to theta. Therefore, cos theta will be equal to 1 over root 3 and therefore, theta will be equal to 54.7 degrees. 
So having covered these basic concepts and ideas, let us work out a problem. In this problem, we have a circular plate which is supported in horizontal position with the help of three wires which are connected to the plate at points A, B and C. The X component of the force exerted by the wire CD onto the plate is given to be minus 100 Newton and we have to find the tension in the wire CD and the angle this force makes with the three axes. So first we show in this diagram the force acting at point C on the plate. So this is the force T which acts at point C on the plate due to the tension in the wire and this force has been resolved into vertical and horizontal component Ty and Th. Note that this is not the X component but this is just the horizontal component of the force T. This angle is given to be 30 degrees in the problem itself and therefore we can compute the value of the horizontal component Th and that will be equal to T times sine 30 degrees and that will be equal to T upon 2. Now if you take a top view that is you look at the plate from the top you will have this view and you will have to turn your head a little bit so that the x axis is towards the east you will get this view and th the horizontal component of the force t is in fact acting at point c but I have moved it so that its tail coincides with the origin and then you will be able to easily figure out that it makes an angle of 240 degrees with positive x axis. So we can then say that Tx is Th times cosine of 240 degrees. So Tx is Th cosine of 240 degrees and Th is T by 2. So this will be equal to T by 2 cosine of 240 degrees is minus 1 upon 2 and therefore this will be equal to minus t upon 4 and tx is given to be minus 100 so minus 100 will be equal to minus t upon 4 and this will give us t equal to 400 newton so the tension in the wire is of 400 newtons and this also is the force acting at point C on the plate in this direction. So this is our answer. So Tx is minus 100 newtons and now we can find out Tz. Tz is equal to Th and this angle is 30 degrees. So this will be equal to Th cosine of 30 degrees which will be equal to Th is T by 2 and cos 30 is root 3 by 2. So this will be equal to 400 upon 4 times root 3 or equal to 173.2 Newtons and therefore cos theta z would be equal to tz upon t and will be equal to 173.2 upon 400 and this will give us the value of the angle theta z equal to 64.34 degrees so from Tz we have been able to compute theta z now Tx is minus 100 and therefore cosine of 
theta x would be equal to tx upon t will be equal to minus 100 upon 400 that is minus 0 0.25 and therefore theta x would be equal to 104.5 degrees so we have theta x equal to 104.5 degrees theta z equal to 64.34 degrees and theta y has been already given in the problem statement to be equal to 30 degrees so we have all the three angles and we are done so i hope you liked the video thanks for watching and see you in the next video thank you